Hello, and thank you for joining us at MCW Wisdom. That's Wisdom for Modern Christian Women. Put your boobs up. Yeah, you saw the title correctly. Let me help you with something. I am getting ready to talk about aspects of culture in church and outside of church when it comes to how women are presenting themselves that's not necessarily popular, right? It's what people really want to tell you especially women, but because of the Me Too movement, everybody is afraid to be perceived as anti-feminist, anti-woman, anti-this, anti-that, or as a hater, and none of that is true for me right now. You've got to understand that as a woman of God, as a representative of God, it is important for you to present yourself in holiness, doesn't mean that you cannot be fashionable. It doesn't mean holiness is in your heart so you can wear whatever you want to wear. It doesn't mean that God loves you and God gives you grace and mercy so that if you want to put your boobs out, you can and everybody should be okay with that. Because what you are essentially doing is bringing God down to your level of understanding. So if you feel like, oh, women can be sexy, there's nothing wrong with showing a little cleavage, you know, people at church shouldn't be looking at me, shouldn't be judging me. I can't help it if men get turned on. I can't help it if women get turned on by what I wear, because that's the culture that we live in now. You know, people should be focused on God and not on me. If any of those thoughts or if any of those words come out of your mouth, and that is a sign of emotional and spiritual immaturity. If you do not think that the way you dress influences the way you act and influences the way people treat you, then that is problematic because have you heard that phrase, the suit makes the man? Well, your clothing is a reflection of who you think you are. It is a reflection of your soul at this particular moment. So when you have your boobs out, that is a sign to a lot of us that, okay, God is still working on her in this area, but the more you hang out with the Holy Spirit, the more you read your Bible, the more you will want to change. So rolling with God, rolling with Jesus means that you are going to have to become mature and change so that the things you used to do are not reflected in who you are now. So maybe you used to dress a particular way to attract particular attention from people. But now that you have grown up a little bit in God, you do not do those things the way that you used to. So a few years ago, there was a young woman who married a popular pastor and they attended a gospel event and she had a dress on with boobs full out. I'm just going to say it. I'm not going to say the names, but you probably know who I'm talking about. Not only that, but she was not wearing a bra. Right. So when people said something about it, the response was, well, I didn't know I couldn't wear this to church. I didn't know I was going to be on stage. Basically, I didn't know I couldn't have my nipples out around church people. And the pastor, when defending his wife, essentially said, oh, y'all just hating on my boo. I mean, just because she got her boobs out and she's fashionable doesn't mean she's not a woman of God. OK, so. That is what we're talking about here when we say put your boobs up because skin is in when it comes to church and when it comes to modern Christian women, meaning there are a lot of female preachers who are wearing shoulder bearing outfits, chest bearing outfits in the pulpit or when they're giving their inspirational messages. There are a lot of women and young women who are on Facebook and YouTube who want to be little ministers. They want to give a word to the people and they are wearing boobs out shirts or they're wearing really tight t-shirts that accentuate their boobs. Right? <laughs> because everybody wants to be cute. Oh, I can be sexy and still be a Christian. Okay, you can. But there is a thing called modesty and propriety. And that's what we're getting ready to talk about now. When you dress in a way 
that draws that level of attention to yourself, then how are you properly representing the things of God as a modern Christian woman? Remember that your body is the temple of God. Your body is not your own. The Holy Spirit dwells within you. And if that is the case, then how you look and how you present yourself to the world needs to reflect that. Here's example number two. I was in a church service where a mother and daughter gave a praise and worship dance. And the following Sunday, the pastor, the father and the husband, stood up and apologized to the church because he felt like his daughter had her boobs out, right? He felt like her chest was out, as he put it. And all of us looked a little puzzled, but I do remember when I witnessed their praise and worship dance thinking, oh, wow, there's a lot happening here. They had on leotard outfits, and the mother had a wrap, a cover-up on, but the daughter did not. So you could see every bodacious curve in her body. So her boobs weren't necessarily out, but the outfit was snug enough for you to get somewhat distracted just for a moment by what she was wearing. And so unfortunately in churches and in Christian groups, people are having a difficult time addressing what's appropriate and what's inappropriate when it comes to female dress. A lot of people just automatically assume, well, I can't help it if I look sexy to people and that's their problem and not my problem. But what we need to talk about is modesty in a very practical way and how you are representing yourself as a woman of God. So let me put it to you this way, and this is as real as I can get right here. Boobs out is a difference between a hooker and a call girl. Hookers have boobs out. They look cheap. They are cheap. They run up to cars asking men for dates. Call girls are much more expensive. They have thousands of dollars in hourly rates. Call girls don't walk around with boobs out. In fact, you would never be able to tell a call girl is a call girl because they're very classy, they're very well put together, and you are not going to see them in situations where they come off as cheap. So that's what we're talking about. So as a woman of God, don't be the hooker. If the Lord is still working with you on some things, then be the call girl. (laughs) Unfortunately, because we are still living in this world, there are particular signals that you can put out that will attract certain energy and certain behavior to you. So it can get very tragic if you're not careful with how you dress. So I am a teacher by profession, college English, and I have worked with a variety of people in all age groups, enough to know that a lot of people cannot distinguish between what's appropriate and what is inappropriate when it comes to how people are dressing. In the culture that we live in, Boobs out is just normal. It's not normal, but it is depicted as normal. When you look at the Nicki Minaj's and the Kim Kardashian's and the Amber Rose's and all of these girls who are imitating them on Facebook and Instagram and on social media in general, you can see that a lot of people are feeling like it is okay to dress in this particular way and that the lines are blurred between what is appropriate and what is inappropriate. And it's also filtering into the church and to people who say they believe in Christ. And I distinguish it that way because some people don't necessarily go to church, but they still feel like they are followers of Christ. If that is you, then when you begin this journey with God, you will begin to mature in a way that you do not do the things that you did before a true transformation in your spiritual life. Meaning you might have dressed a particular way, you might have felt like it was okay, but now that you have gained in your relationship with God, you might be feeling like you need to change, but everything around you is 